Alright. Bottle net here on an 1850s ranch site in the old west with some really good news. We have a 19th century privy pit all probed out and ready to go. So what's really crazy about this dig is that we were able to locate a privy pit in the middle of this giant wide open field. Even though the ranch house that was here and all the outbuildings have been long since demolished for almost a century. So how did we do that? We used a historical county atlas from the 1870s to determine the original location of the ranch house that stood here. County atlases are big books that were originally published to showcase things such as what kind of crops the county was yielding, its main sources of commerce and industry, key businesses and people, images of prominent family homes and commercial structures, census data, county boundaries, and yes, fairly detailed maps of rural areas, including farms. Digging the West with Bottleneck. That's a shame. That made my day. How the hell did we hit the district? <laughs> 80 to 100,000 square feet of space where an old farmhouse used to sit. And we've somehow pinpointed the Privy District. 1850s farmhouse, but pit number one contains a broken blown cobalt bottle. Probably a stomach laxative, something like a bromo seltzer. Okay. Pit number two is unknown. The unfortunate thing we do know is that Oh God, I found it by popping through a bottle. See the layer? Layer. Oh, rusty. Rusty. Rusty relics. What's really exciting about this is we've established a privy district for a, just a in the middle of nowhere farmhouse about to be redeveloped and dug out. So it's just so hard to find. This is, talk about a needle in the uh, stack of hay. Seeds? Let's see. What seed? I think those are seeds. Oh, those are hella seeds. Yeah. There you go. So it's oh. an outhouse. Intestines. We have verification that this hole was pooped in. Wonderful. God damn, white boy. Makes me so happy to see poop. First piece of glass out of my hole. A Fody water but that was in this duff up high, and then you have some chunkier stuff. So you have a cap, what we call a cap of clean dirt that's been down there for longer than that Fody. And that's whatever's below that clean dirt's gonna be significantly older. We're hoping a lot older. So we'll see. What'd you get? A little medicine, it's blown. Oh, it's blown. It's old enough, we're in the zone. Blow me. As Jack Frost said, yeah, that's definitely, yeah, it's a privy. It's probably 1905, the age of a blown paneled medicine. It's a good start. You've established a district so that older holes could be nearby. Might be another something next to it though. Well, good. See what's next to it. Oh, same thing. <laughs> it's funny that one looks older just because of the patina. Yeah. Oh. It's got the numbers and letters on the base, so. Alright, I've just hit some glass with my shovel. Alright. Pray to the bottle gods that this is old. Come on, be old. Damn it, it's not glass, it's pottery. Oh, there's some glass. Oh, it's a jam jar, 19, uh, turn of the century. Well, it could be worse. Hopefully it's not 20s. Ugh. Okay, well, it's still we're still on top. Here's an ironstone china plate. 
piece pretty new not even crazed the glaze isn't even cracked ay, ay, ay. all right getting down into it got some sitka wear turn of the century transfer wear maybe a pouring pitcher huh. then we have some plates and a layer down here have a decent looking layer. I don't know how old it is. It looks more like turn of the century, but let's see. Oh yeah, that's that's actually pretty early pressed glass. Something that might have hung around. Looks like a candy dish or something. Candy bowl, fruit bowl. Hmm. Yeah, that's a foot right there. Yep. really rich farmer guy, as farmers generally were back in the day, supplying all the food. These are the food suppliers of the 19th century in the West. So these are the guys that had all the money and influence because without them, nobody's eating. So these dudes had a lot of money. If you can find trash for them, you're gonna do good. Real good. The 1849 gold rush brought people to California from all over the world. But they were here to get rich as fast as possible and then return home. This could not be done with agricultural pursuits. And therefore, very little was done in raising even staple crops. So basic things like flour, barley, and oats had to be imported in barrels, sacks, cans, and yeah, bottles. In the early gold rush days, food was in such high demand with so little supply that things like a single egg could cost as much as $3. Ships from San Francisco would sail over 30 miles to a small group of islands off the coast called the Farallons, which was the largest seabird nesting colony in the United States just to go pick up eggs. These islands, named by coastal Miwok tribes the Islands of the Dead, were cold and inhospitable, surrounded by sharks and made of jagged cliffs from which many fell to their deaths. In 1863, an all-out battle erupted between two rival groups of egg poachers on the island in which men were killed by rifle and cannon fire. So now you understand the extent of California's food shortage in the early days and why many enterprisers realized that the real gold was in farming. And so it went that the people who became successful in agriculture in the early West became very, very rich. Wow, that's more of that. It's like a wash basin. A wash basin that might have been in the shed, the outhouse shed where you wash your hands. <sighs> wall here and there's like a footing for it I know 100% I'm going to be bleeding by the end of today after I bash my elbows on that thing getting into this tiny hole fucking piece of crap yeah it's the overpour of the cement when they uh, when they poured this thing or that's not moving yeah it's, it's like right in there uh, medicine bottle uh remove some of the crap around it you don't want to damage it in the meanwhile i got a broken fruit jar but look at this got the bubbles in it and it's got a ground lip so the 1890s and older fruit jars they would have a ground lip right here on the top edge and the newer ones they'll actually just have smooth glass on the top edge okay let's see if we can accomplish full exposure. I'm going to expose this bottle so it's naked in the sunlight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Wait, move. Oh. Dough. Ah. Well, we got a whole bot though. 1890s pharmacy. Farmer's Pharmacy. 
that's pretty solid 1890s maybe up until as new as 1905 not much newer mm -hmm. I don't think those are pictures I think they're like uh, window the small really smaller small. window panes for well you know those turn houses they where they have those tiny yeah. the tiny panes tiny panes they're like they're all that kind of ish, kind of sort of. Look these layers, it's just powerhouse. Wow. Fire up. Who's creating this? It's got to have a real curve to it. Depends on the angle of the curve. CD just pulled out. CD. Cracked. Older, I mean, I don't know how much older, but they're huh. not the same age. Like one of those 90s yeah. western blown meds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. That's old ish. Old enough to zone you in, though. Yeah. God, it's tight. The zone. The bottle zone, 1850s house. Of course, you uh, hit the turn of the century pits first. It's like, doesn't it always go like that? Uh, it's a slipper. I'll just pull it out. Okay. Yes. Wow. We can get that age. Whoa, that's like solid 1890s Western blown. Yeah, it's a little older. Fire Aqua Medicine. Look at that very nice. Oh yeah, that's what you want. Now we're getting closer. It keeps going. In the Western. Ball. Oh, shoe polish. Shining your shoes. That's definitely not very old, but this one's pretty old. Oh. Oh. We zoned in. Yeah. That's a hog. Farmer. Farmer's medicine right here. Wow. In the middle of nowhere. Wow. Crazy, dude. That's crazy. Wakely's blue in the hole. That's a click older too. That's like that 90s med. Oh yeah. That's old it's enough. a nice patina on it. Wakely's Cameline. Beauty product. In the 19th century, pale white skin signified purity, beauty, and status. Therefore, face whitening products such as Wakely's Cameline became a household name. This hygienic product was also used to hide blemishes and other signs of illness. Some of these face bleaching products contain some pretty nasty stuff, including arsenic, mercury, and lead, which led to a wide variety of health problems for the ladies using them. Female hygiene products. It's a thermometer, isn't it? Near the bottom, isn't that the oh. mercury? Yeah, look at the numbers. Let's see. Oh, Joe. yeah. Wow, cool. Thermometer. Yeah. Huh. Wait, wait. What do you got at Eli's cream? Yeah. Qatar remedy? Getting into the pretty solid 1890s now. Eli's cream balm. San Francisco, oh, never mind. New York. New York City. Look at all the seeds. Oh, a cosmetic cream and a, uh, a lube job. Lube it up with personal lubricant. Very interesting, interesting mug there. Looks like almost like a, no, that's not for beer. It's still probably a creamer. Yeah. Cool. What the hell is it? Mason. Oh, cool. An intact Mason. It's got the porcelain liner, I'm thinking it. Nice. Oh, they had plenty of stuff that they grew to use for their uh, putting their canning jars. You know, we're close to some good cathedrals somewhere yep. around here. Mm -hmm. The older holes will have cathedral pickles. Beauty. Damn that hat. Brown lip. Brown lip? Yeah. Oh, that's a historic jar. Yeah, that's. Wow, what's in it? 
How's the Amazing. urine? No scent. 140 year old urine smell. Yeah, yeah the man. soil, it perks through the soil and it There's a liner for you. It. Oh, cool. Here's the... Yep, 1890s Mason with original urine. Yep. Ground lip. Nut, 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 90s. And the original closure. Part of it, anyway. It's missing the, uh, the lead screw top or zinc that it's made out of. <laughs> okay, we got some blood. Ugh, like exposure. Oh, 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 oh. Here's our broken plate layer. Very typical layer in a privy. Lots of smash. Ooh, there's the top to the Liam Perrins. Hey. But lots of smashed plates. Broke a lot of plates back then because they were more brittle. They'd break easier. So yeah, dishware that they, and glassware that they broke and smashed a little bit more. And trash compacted into the pit. Very typical. There's the culprit, the trash compactor. That's the big rock that they threw in here to compact their garbage and break all the plates even more. Oh. Uh, part of an oil burning lamp, probably. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Ooh, it's a shoulder embossed ink that's kind of cool. Lip, lip back, coal. Gold metal mucilage. Oh, gold metal mucilage. Cool. It's like a writing paste, sealing letters, and whatnot. Got a Hires root beer. And in the hole, we have some of Anson Hodling's so, original whiskey. Is it going to be an applied ball fire? <laughs> in this age, you'd think it would be a tool yeah, top one. Should line. be, but you never know. Yeah. We have a whiskey cylinder. It's not that old, but they're always exciting. We also have a giant hat in the way. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. What a layer. Oh. 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 That's a chimney I probably probed. There you go. Tooled, but barely. Tooled top San Francisco whiskey cylinder, Western. It's the right products, that's all that matters. Yeah. Anson Hodling, bottled by Cutter, J.H. Cutter. They're actually reproducing these now. You can buy a, buy some whiskey in a bottle that's kind of similar to this but new you can buy a bottle of JH Cutter whiskey at the stores today <laughs> Where's my water bottle? multiple bottle gasms the kind of bottle gasms that hurt kind of while it's happening you know those kinds <laughs> pull out a crown top <laughs> But uh, yeah, cool mucilage. Got a bone handle toothbrush. Little pills. Thermometer. Yeah, another thermometer, I think. Croc. There's a cold cream. It's a nice turn of the century age stuff here. Oh, Greer's. Oh, Greer's. Greer's washing, washing ammonia. Yeah. Could have been anything. Maybe totally. Embossed yellow. Colored gaslight. Oh, wow. It's hammered. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. That age? That's like one of the new ones, though. It's whittled. Oh, it is whittled. Whoa. Hammered. Stupid. Shout out to Lawson. Let's see. <sighs> Clean it off a little bit here. That's turn of the century. Ammonia. Is that hammered or am I seeing things? No, I think, I think it is. I think it's pretty whittled. 
Well, hammered. Not as much as I thought. That's pretty whittled. You got to clean the dirt out to really see it. Cool. Cool. Boy, I want to find the older holes really bad. <laughs> God, it hurts. Stay tuned. All we need is like <sighs> 10 years older and we can really win the game. If you probe one more hole out here, it's going to be really exciting. <laughs> okay, we have a problem. We have all these stupid layers of overpour concrete in the way of getting down into the hole. There's the layer. So we're going to have to take a sledge and um, get that out of the way. Ow. Oh, fuck. Ooh. 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 Ow. More lame irony. This whole freaking giant lot. And the pit happens to be up below this. <laughs> the only concrete on the lot is this tiny little part along the wall. Okay, we got some concrete off the top here. Oh, lots of broken plate in this layer. Very cool outhouse layer. We're praying that this isn't what I think it is. Uh-oh. They might have had a Chinese stable boy. There's a rice wine. Rice wine. Yay, 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 rice wine. We hope they hadn't, didn't have Chinese because a lot of the Chinese were notorious for being pickers and recycling good bot. Taking it back to the glass factory if it had a deposit value. There could have been one present on this property. There's a pumpkin seed. But in this age, it doesn't really matter. By the turn of the 20th century, they didn't really practice recycling for deposit back to the glass factory sometimes back to the bottler but not to the factory because glass was too easy to make by that point bottle vision live i think i felt my shovel brush up against something so let's see oh that's plate vision Ooh, yellowware yellowware Ooh. Oh, that's good. Uh, i want bowl vision i want bottle vision Never do this unless you're a trained bottle professional. Oh! Oh, cool. Western Florida water. Reddington and Company. That is a lot older than this. This stupid mm -mm, cold cream cosmetic bottle. Jar, I mean. Uh, not everything's a bottle, bottle mid. Yeah, that's, this is a good. 10, 15 years older than that. This is about 1895. It's about, I guess, 1905, 1910 on that. It's a uh, aftershave lotion from San Francisco, Florida water, made by the Reddington and Company. Very big drug company back at the turn of the century and before. Came the Coffin Reddington Company well into the 20th century. Yeah. Stunt that urine out. Urinalysis. Cool. Here's a new one, never before seen in the world of Bottle Ned. It's a Bakelite, weird douche nozzle looking, I don't know what the hell. Almost looks like a, a Phillips screwdriver, but it's totally not, it's actually hollow in there. Fake light. Man, anyone have any ideas? Let me know. It's just weird. What the hell? Ugh, sit on it. It's 
freaking, there's more of this shite down here. Weird shite. What? What the? Strange objects. What? What? <laughs> the hell? Dr. Frankenstein's lab. I've never seen any of that crap. That's just bizarre. Is it like part of a larger thing? What? Look at all these nozzles. It's almost some kind of like primitive mechanized piece of equipment or something that spun around or what the hell? What? How? Why? Again, if anyone knows, I certainly don't. Some early like Edison sound machine or something. Age of the pit, right about the turn of the century. Oh yeah, that's not broken. It's got the, yeah, that's like a, I'd say some kind of early electrical type thing. Sound making machine. Got a child's cup. Not as ornate as the earlier ones that you can find with gold leaf and transfer wear and pictures and poems and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, more like a turn of the century one with the kind of weak glaze or paint job that comes off pretty easily. But yeah, still child's cup. There's next door neighbors. Just our luck. Uh, hope these guys don't think we're like tunneling underneath their backyard or something. <sighs> Bot vision. Come on, baby. Oh, kind of looks sexy. It's not sexy. It's not sexy at all. Jeez, the Euro liquor bottle. Let's see what we got here. Uh, mustardos. Yeah, I got the same stuff in my hole. It's definitely the same family using the same stuff. Whoa, we got a the earlier version of the milk of magnesia. Highly sought after. The aqua. It's too bad the earlier ones are aqua. Mm. Beer bottles, turn of the century. Lots of wooly and parents, mucilage. Yeah, they were writing, drinking, eating a lot of food, big family. There's a nice Western mid. Canning jars. Yeah, man, just gotta get some of that older age. You know, no, 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 no. Okay, we've got a oil burning lamp. Not ready for exposure yet. Oh, is that a coin? No, it's not a coin. Okay. Yeah, it's ready. Oh, oh it had a handle. No wonder it was so hard to get out. Well, oh, cool. Oh, that's classic, man. That's a classic case of walking out to the privy at night and accidentally dropping your light. <laughs> you could see that story unfold back in about 1900. <laughs> That's funny. It's even got some really good brass just intact on the top there. That's cool. Wow. <laughs> There's a story. We got some color in the hole. Let's see what that is. It's an aqua color, but still, it's gonna be an English gin. Oh. Oh, some gin for you. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Nice, soft, just fluffy, fluffy layer. It's great. I like it. What's that? Huh. It's like some rubber, old rubber. Hmm. Just had to open up an older hole, huh? Get a 
bottled by Cutter with an applied top this time, late 1880s. Same bottle, but significantly older. Yeah. It's dark, I can see it, but I can feel the newer looking base. Applied top silhouette in the night with urban backlighting. Fuck. What? As I'm filming the other one already out of the hole, you got yourself one in the hole. Look at that seeds at that way, two feet down. A farmhouse pit. Or just a slicker. Yeah, slick dick. Slick dickaroo. But getting more towards the 1880s. Oh yeah, I'll take this age. You got clunks? Oh my god. Holy shnikes. Wish I didn't have to go and dig my stupid turn hole. <laughs> Come on, be a Durham, something fat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't want to pull it when it's at that angle. Could be some plate against the top. You need full exposure. Ooh, now we're getting into the cream age. Yeah. That's applied right. top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Wow. Applied top. Dude, that's an East Coast POS, but it's good. It's got the good age. Cutters at all angles. Francisco applied top cylinder whiskey bottles. <laughs> yeah. Stop a whole like this. Yeah, you just like, oh, we should just come back yeah, another come day. On. Yeah, right. How shallow that is. That's a piece of concrete right there. Jeez, concrete. Oh, Jesus, that was bad. Can't slip. Yeah, the, it slips off the concrete. You gotta watch those picos. Yeah. Maxi pad drinker. Yep. This area is so cuttery. Huh? Come on, baby. Western whiskey's coming out of the ground. Upside down. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Gravity one. Oh, same one. Still, it's a pie. Nice big top. Yeah, nice drip. Is that a drip right there? Yeah. Nice. Drippy lippy. We like it, the drippy lippy. Yeah, solid 80s. Yeah. What is that, like 1886, 1885? Probably start around five. They overlap with the curve now. Hmm. But by late 80s, you have the bottled by. Yeah. Soul oh. agent variant on that one. Mid to late 80s, I don't know. Nice. Nice. In 1852, a young photographer in New York State named Anson Hodling felt a calling. Something telling him to sell everything and board a crowded clipper ship bound for California. Was it the voice of God compelling him? Young Anson didn't think so, for he didn't have much of a taste for organized religion. And halfway into his journey to San Francisco, when his ship docked for repairs for an extended period at the port of Valparaiso, Chile, Anson, despite falling in love with the relaxed Latin lifestyle and determined to stay in Chile, once again felt the impulse to ignore what seemed to be the best choice and instead push onward to California. But once arriving in the gold fields, Hodling questioned his decisions again, for the life of the shovel and pick were too rough for his soft photographer hands. So he went down to San Francisco, a seedy city of rough men, opium, alcohol, and painted ladies, 
taking a job as a clerk for a wholesale liquor house. And that's when everything came together. Hodling amassed capital and opened his own wholesale liquor warehouse. And less than 20 years later, became the biggest wholesale liquor distributor in the West, with offices all over California, in Oregon, Washington, and even Australia. At this point, you can imagine Hodling was finally thankful for that nudging, prodding voice that steered him in the right direction his whole life. And despite his passing in 1899, this wasn't the end of the mystical success of Hodling's liquor business. For when the 1906 San Francisco earthquake and fire broke out, decimating every other stock of whiskey in the city, Hodling's warehouse was spared from the flames by what some would call a divine miracle, serving the legacy of a man who never called himself religious prompting poet Charles Kellogg Field to write this about naughty San Francisco. If, as they say, God spanked the town for being over frisky, why did he burn the churches down and save Hodling's whiskey? Digging at night, trying to hide from people next door. Phone battery about to die, but look, look at how cool of a, of a vase this was with a gold leaf design and pink. Oh, beautiful! I've never seen this is a custom hand job here. There's no marking on the base. I'm not sure if this is kind of mass produced ish or if it's some local piece, but I guess it's probably. But cool color on the glaze. What do we have here? We have a compound extract. Compound extract of sarsaparilla, possibly. Possibly. Loosen her up a little bit. Okay, loose. It's loose, baby. century in this hole. Big things are coming, emerging. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. While this is disturbing to see evidence of Chinese living here, meaning they stole our precious bot away. That's actually a beautiful ginger pot. Wow. Hey, they call them ginger pots, but there were other things, other contents in, in, these, uh, in these pots. Also, food type contents. Looks like a turn of the century one based on the, the sloppiness of the glaze. The older ones you can find from the Gold Rush period, California Gold Rush 1850s period, um, tend to have really a lot sharper, more distinctive imagery in the glaze just scenes that you can really make out well and then they got sloppy after a while there's a bowl that came up too looks like ironstone bowl let's see if there's any whoa that's an old looks like a royal seal serial number or something wow that looks like an old bowl man or just a really fancy one that's a nice yeah that's quality right there quality transfer. Cool. We got some San Francisco showing. Looks like apothecary. San Francisco in the layer. Okay. Oh, nice little, ooh, yeah. Nice size. Warrens, huh. I've never actually dug one of those. Oh, wow. Most bottles in the West are 
just come from San Francisco. Either they're made there or they're made for that city. But yeah, that's, wow, Warren's Pharmacy. Huh. I mean, there's like 10 trillion pharmacy bottles from the shitty. Whithall Tatum on the bottom, probably uh, around 1890 or so. Is it a Whithall Tatum? Oh, something else. A.O. Weird. Just really never seen that. That's the excitement. Seeing something you've never seen. Pharmaceutical bottle. 1890. Maybe late 1880s. We have a very exciting discovery in the hole here. Everybody likes to see this. A cobalt bottle. It's probably embossed on one of the sides. Hopefully in English and not French. Yes. We're going to extract a extract a lot of post dinosaur and then um and then get back with you give me a second thanks okay prayer time with bottle ned start praying that it says something in english and not french it looks like some kind of std cure god damn it it's still too too stuck i can't pull it with any kind of safety oh 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 but i want it now oh oh Ugh. Clay milled. <sighs> Stupid ass French. So, it's probably, this is the color, it's probably an STD remedy, but there are Western pharmaceutical bottles with, that are cobalt blue, that are embossed with a pharmacist's name. There's one from San Francisco, and there's one from a town called Petaluma close to the uh, Northern California coastline. Yeah, too bad. What does it even say? Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> Just kidding. Progressive RB. Progress... <laughs> So, E-A-U means water, and then uh, capillary. Oh, capillary water. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Cross your finger time again. Are you feeling lucky? Do we get an embossed local pumpkin seed flask? Do we? Do we? <sighs> Darr! Where's me lucky charms? Look at it all. Just look at it. Ugh. Ooh, wash basin. Blossom. <laughs> there's truth in advertising. Oh, there's the inside of it. Blossom. It's so pretty. mason jar let's extract that one shall we oh whoa that thing's whittled that thing's whittled as hell man you see that just look at it oh that's whittled Ooh, yeah, that's a nice specimen of a western blown mason jar <laughs> yeah that's really it's a nice one definitely blown in the west on that yeah cool Great one. Battery's about to die. Oh, just had a cave in. I saw some stuff in here. Oh yeah, there's one. Oh yeah. Ha, ha. Ooh, probably a perfume type of or a paint bottle. Oh yeah, uh, yes, yes. Oh, oh yes. Guy blows. Shy blows. Cure for consumption. With the cork still in it. Ooh. Oh. Oh, and here's a little, oh, oh, that's an older, it's an 80s, like a um, toothpaste or a cold cream porcelain pot. Yeah, oh yes, hurry up and extract it before the phone dies. Oh, what's that? Oh, cool, it's a pie dish. 
Frisbee. Oh, it's got a probe hole through it. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, oh shy blows. Oh, it's got the shy guy blows, guy blowing in it. Oh, man, that's gross. That's what it smells like. It's weird how odorless it is because it's some really putrid looking water material in there oily yeah that's that's definitely some of the product still in there after 130 years guy blows consumption care we got a real seed pocket in here oh damn you phone battery why are you gonna die beautiful beautiful oh there's the back wall actually okay we're almost done so even if the phone dies you guys didn't miss much shades and oh there's a little top to a like a marmalade or a creamer probably French okay artifact madness a medicinal bottle oh I love it oh it's so sexy oh man Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, it's the lid. Ah, blossom lid. That's a lid to a chamber pot, though. The blossom thing was bigger. Wow. Really special chamber pot lid. Look at that. The same pattern. Same plateware. Oh, I'm loving it like a milkshake. Oh, gimme, gimme. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> These people had a problem. Well, it's starting to look like whoever lived here was Doc Holiday, man. Consumption, dude. Yeah, there's... Whoever was living here had a problem with consumption. Or they thought they did. Who knows? I think it was really diagnosed correctly back in those days, I'm sure. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Austria, this is the good stuff. Whoa, farmers with money. It's got the bear on it. That's interesting. Carl's Bad China, but in Austria, made for maybe California market. Wow, 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 wow. Holy shnikes, holy consumption remedies. What the? Wow, someone was really sick here. Very sick. Oh, you can kind of just feel it. You can feel someone's life in here and their demise almost. Like they were desperate back then, desperate for anything that might take their pain and their symptoms away. Wow. Look at that. Let's get the light down here. Screw it. Yeah. Get the light in there. Roots out of the way. bottles. Wow, or just a big extract or a medicinal bottle. Wow, these are sick. Sickos. Wash basins. Just washing their hands a lot. Interesting. Wow. I just got out of here. I got, him, got me a gravy boat. Wavy gravy boat, man. Yeah. There we go. And some more consumption happening down here. Oh, it's pink. It's a weird medicine. Let's see. Got consumption all over the place. No. Let's see. Dental problems for the teeth and breath. Ugh. Oh, oh, we got one. Oh, oh, extraction. Oh, oh, consumption. I felt a lot better than these people felt when they were taking this medicine. Shiloh's consumption cure. Here's something really creepy. 
as if people dying from consumption in the Old West wasn't creepy enough. This is either horse or human hair. I don't know what this is. It's it, This could be human hair. I don't know. Like a Victorian morning lock of hair. Someone cutting, giving someone a haircut. I, unless it's horse hair, it's either animal or human. You know, in the right conditions, human hair can survive in the ground for a long time. There's proof right there in the hair. The hair of the pioneer homesteading person who died of consumption. <sighs> Where's the person? That's just, dude, I'm, dude, that's almost weird. Dude, that is human hair. Oh my God, that's human hair. What the hell? That, that's not horse hair. Oh my God. New discoveries in the world of digging. Gruesome discoveries. What? Oh, that's just trippy. No. Th that's a little, that's a little much, actually. Honestly, that's, um, it's a bit over the top, okay? I'm, uh, I'm a little creeped out by that. That is, I feel it's gonna, I feel like it's gonna like fly up and go down my throat and choke me or something, dude. That's really, I can't describe to you how creeped out I am just by that. I don't know why it's just, that did it. I mean, the consumption cure bottles for the person dying of consumption with the cure still in it and probably some of their DNA. I mean, that's one thing, but the hair, It's like that feeling of disturbing someone's grave, I guess. Jeez. Okay, bottle Ned, until next time. The next weird finding. And I'm definitely haunted now and possessed by ghosts. One more shot of the, uh, the hair. <laughs> Anyone have any ideas? It's pretty thin. It's th horse hair is thick, right? It's thicker. Usually, but what depends on what kind of horse, how big, how old. Yeah. What part of the body. <sighs> so someone got a haircut or someone's in this hole.